come to Culloden, the battlefield. So this is um, sort of the epicentre really of the Jacobite uprising. represent the British front line and then the blue flags off in the distance over there represent the Jacobites. And just at that point behind us I reckon around 700 people died in a proper skirmish Central. within minutes 700 people have died. Culloden was the final confrontation of the Jacobite rising of 1745. On the 16th of April, 1746, the Jacobite army of Charles Edward Stuart was decisively defeated by a British government force under Prince William Augustus. 1,250 Jacobites died at the battle and almost as many were wounded, with 376 taken prisoner. The government troops lost 50 men, while around 300 were wounded. And it's still not known to this day what happened to the... Uh... The government troops, is it? No, so there are burial mounds um, of the clans here with um, headstones for each clan and some mixed clan graves as well, but they're not sure of the actual burial site of the British government. Um, the Just reading up some information on it as to why there were so many Jacobites that died. So the devastating uh, slaughter of the Jacobites was a result of the cannonade um, from the British to start with. Then the uh, Jacobites, they tried to take the Brits by surprise. They fired off their muskets, I suppose they were, um, and they're believed to have then thrown their muskets down and headed in for, um, well, close combat with a sword fight. Um, so as they threw their muskets down and headed in for sword fight, the British fired their weapons. When it came to close combat fighting, instead of fighting the clansmen in front of him, the Englishman swiped the clansmen to the right of him, injuring the side that was um, available and not shielded. There's all sorts of inf bits of information, isn't there, yeah. about why it was here? Yeah. The, it's yeah, because um, Charles wanted to actually fight it over off, no, no, one the of his, yeah, one of the, one of so his chief clansmen said, "Fight it over that way." Let's go up the hills, take the high ground, and uh, take the British government there. Bonnie Prince Charles, however, he thought, said, "No, no this boggy marshland would be perfect for a sword fight." Yeah, it's so really interesting, and um, Scotland heritage are trying to restore the grounds so they're more like what they were which was incredibly boggy and really difficult to fight on yeah amazing Linac cottage Linac cottage is one of the last survivors of a once common local structure type during the battle of culloden Linac cottage was situated in between the government lines and is likely the building would have been used as a field hospital for the government men so a field hospital Yeah, interesting. Interesting sight just to walk around. We need to uh, get back in the van and try and find a place to stay for the night. And uh, no idea where. Right. Let's do it. California sun 
sand underneath our feet The morning's just begun I don't remember much from the night before Just from the human touch And now I want more We are at Car Bridge There's the bridge <laughs> Thanks for that <laughs> You'd have never worked that out, would you, YouTube? Built in the 1790s. <laughs> so I'm having a competition with Claire on this bridge and see whose photo comes out the best. And I'll put them both up. And no favouritism here. So I know you'll go for Claire's one over mine anyway. I'm just going to use my phone and oh, Claire's going to use a full frame camera. I'm going to you see. You won't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, you will. You will if we blew them up. I've said before, you try enlarging them. Bottom lips out. She must be concentrating. I'm clumsy. <laughs> we know you're clumsy. Built around 1790, original car bridge, not much left. You have to get low because you're actually in a real built up area here. You're in the middle of a village and there's a, a little building behind the waterfall here. So, uh, yeah, nice. Something about tonight And how it's gonna be your last And now my mind is a mess My heart is pounding fast Oh, I wish that you could stay good evening uh, not the best park up but certainly not the worst um, can't remember the name of this road I'll put this on on the map uh, to be fair we've cut across most of the main roads in um, in the area of the Cairngorms now we've, we've, we have found quite a few little side uh, roads to go down we've just been down to a castle called Castle Roy. We did no filming there whatsoever. We literally stopped for a quick drink and bite to eat. Uh, just wait, and you'll hear how close we are to the main road. Just backing out of the way so I don't don't put people off their driving. Um, but yeah, it's quite a busy main road here. So I'm not too sure. Now that's going to disturb our sleep. I don't, I don't think it will. So it's a busy road, but it's not terrible. And the park up we found is inside there. Bit of a squeeze. We're not the first to uh, use it, that's for sure. <laughs> um, there's some rubbish and stuff around the corner there. So this is just literally a park up for the night and then a, a move on in the morning. And as I was saying, we just spoke to a couple down by Castle Roy and they highly recommend Mull. So uh, let's see, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll give Mull a go. Good morning. So I'll put this uh, park up on the map. Uh, and I would recommend, guys, that you only use this one if you're caught short. <laughs> Not caught short that way. Caught short as in, as in with a park up. However, it seems like it's been uh, used and abused many times before. There's a lot of rubbish here. Um, a bit disappointing to be fair. We are 
in the heart of uh, the Cairngorms, which is a shame. It's quite a big parking location, but there's a lot of tissues everywhere. And I'm sure if you've used this before, you'll, you'll know where I am. Because there's uh, some fridges and a TV. So definitely not a pretty um, location. But like I say, maybe you're getting caught out, maybe you get caught out coming across the uh, big pass there. It's a fantastic road, by the way, and <laughs> highly recommend driving it. But, um... But, um, it's not one that you'd want to stay for the day, that's for sure. This is one where you pull in last thing at night, just get your head down and then go. I did say to Claire I'm going to do some litter picking, but there's far too much here. Really disappointing. Uh, here you go. You can't win them all. So the plan for today, simple one. Recharge everything and get clean. <laughs> so that's gonna drag us onto a campsite. Uh, there's one not too far from here, probably about 20 minute drive. So we're going to give that one a go if we can get on. Um, I think the kids are on school holidays, I think. Well, I'm not too sure, maybe not. Oh, Fred is getting a bit battered and torn. I'll put this vinyl on. A long time ago when we first got the van but it's beginning to uh, shrink and rip now well not so much shrink I don't know if you can see that on the bottom yeah bubbles and no matter what I do they come back another little job to uh, do when we get home and I'll remove all the vinyl and then I'll I'll paint it in the same way as I painted these stripes on. But a job for later. Much, much later. See how Claire's getting on if she's awake or if she's uh, in a fit state. If she's not, then you won't see anything. Oh, good morning, wifey. Good morning. I would not call this a fit state. <laughs> no. How are you? Who, them? Them? You? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Good night's sleep. Well, it was a good night's sleep. We did wake night. up halfway through. <laughs> yeah. Good night's sleeps. Yeah. Is what we had there. Yeah. The first sleep wasn't great. It was. Tony um, woke me up with gentle whispers in my ear that he wasn't aware of in his sleep. Was them gentle whispers anything like. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> the second sleep, however, I made him face the other way. <laughs> Again, guys, I've said it before. Romance is alive on ADF. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> right, so let's get this ship squared away. And uh, <laughs> just found my box of shorts. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, uh? Let's get this uh, ship squared away and uh, get on the road. So if any of you self-builders out there have got a SMEV 9222 uh, unit, something to keep in mind is the glass tops and the stainless steel frame can sometimes scratch. So pop onto Amazon, it's not affiliated to us, but if you pop onto Amazon and order an extra large mouse mat, how large they are. They fit over the SMEV perfectly, as I will demonstrate. There you go. So it can protect your uh, unit when you're tempted to put stuff <laughs> on top of it. I'll put a link to the one that we got in the description below, just in case you're uh, interested. 